Hi there! Welcome back to Goldie's channel. Since the past decade, it has been up for debate among the fans about who is a better defender between Sergio Ramos and Gerard Pique. The work gets divided into two halves when it comes to them. However, in today's video, we are not going to look at their performances on the pitch, but their level of wealth. They are famous, they are rich, but who is richer? Let's find out in this video. Round 1. On-Field Earnings Barcelona veteran Gerard Pique is 35 now and is walking into the twilight of his career. He has contracted to Barca until the summer of 2024 and earns £180 per week in wages, which means that he is paid £10.9 million in 2022. In 2021, there was a claim that Barcelona paid him a weekly salary of £450,000. But this claim was shot down after him showing a screenshot showing half his annual pay, £2 million. So, to compare with the number 2022, his salary significantly increases. As for Sergio Ramos, he defeats the Barcelona star in this side as his weekly wage at PSG is nearly twice PK's, with £312,000 per week. Since the start of the season, the Spanish defender has outperformed himself and he is now in the starting lineup. So far, the games he has played have persuaded management to renew his contract, which entails winning up to £12 million per year. So we can conclude that Sergio Ramos wins this round. Round 2 – Off-Field Earnings In this round, Gerard Pique is a businessman rather than a football player. Pique, a Harvard University MBA in the business of entertainment, media and sports, founded the social networking video game design startup Karad Games in 2011. In 2016, he co-founded an eSports company, and two years later, he launched an international league in collaboration with Pro Evolution Soccer, PES maker Konami. The Spanish International also collaborated with a Chicago-based entrepreneur to launch the iMessage app Daybook. Plus, PK also founded and invested heavily in Cosmos Holdings, a production company based in Barcelona that creates, produces, and packages cutting-edge sports and entertainment content. The company recently announced a $3 billion partnership with the International Tennis Federations. This investment has aided in the transformation of the Davis Cup competition. The player then purchased FC Andorra and Gymnastic Manresa after seeing excellent returns on his Cosmos Holdings investments. More to say, being a famous footballer is also an advantage point for him the ambassador for a brand. Specifically, PK Gerard Piquet has endorsed himself in one of the best companies like Nike. Loris Foundations, etc. According to the reports in 2017, with these deals, the defender earned more than $3 million per annum. However, now the rate definitely must have increased since three years have gone by. So as of 2022, his total net worth is estimated at $80 million. If Gerard Piquet invests in video games, Sergio Ramos is a multifaceted entrepreneur. In the last few years, Ramos managed to build an impressive network of investments, with assets that in 2018 were valued at around 100 million euros. Years went by, Ramos' incursions into the world of business have steadily increased to the point where he is now a presence in a variety of sectors. He made a capital investment of up to 37 million euros in a star image company. He also worked in real estate with the Gastoda Mediterranea de Infrastructuras Group and the Albisa Company. Ramos's two most important projects are the Sevilla Commercial Center and the SR4 Stud Farm for horse racing. Only in the fields of his business do the Spanish midfielder's total assets reach 100 million euros. Moreover, like PK, Ramos is also a regular face for famous brands in the world. He's now the ambassador of Nike, Hugo Boss, PepsiCo, and Gatorade, which brings him around 10 million euros annually. In addition, Ramos has joined forces with Amazon to star in an 8-part docuseries set for release this year. Well, as of this year, his net worth is valued at $80 million. Because there is not the exact number about both players' business income, so this round is tied. One point for both. Okay, now let's come to the way they enjoy their life. First, house. As you know, BK was in a long-term relationship with the famous singer Shakira, with whom he has three kids. However, the couple split up earlier in this year, which means that the property that they purchased together will be divided following their agreement. In terms of houses, the couple has shared some houses in common. The first house is the one located in Esplugues de Lorbregat, which borders Barcelona. 
It was bought in 2012 and worth $4.3 million. In 2015, they bought another house in Barcelona's Pedrabes neighborhood, near Barca's ground camp now. It cost them around $5.3 million. They also reportedly have a holiday home in Cyprus, which they bought it in 2019. The six-bed villa is located in the luxury Cap St. George's Resort, which overlooks the Sea of Akamas near Paphos and reportedly comes with a home cinema, private gym, jacuzzi, private pool, and wine cellar. The exact price of the villa is not known, but prices for property in the area are thought to start at $2 million. Unlike Pique, Ramos and his wife Pilar Rubio don't spend money on many houses. They just splashed out $11 million on a 12,000 square meters house, where the whole family settled down for a long time. The mansion is located in Madrid's exclusive La Moraleja district. The interior of the house is more variegated and the colors are shimmering. There are three lounges, a large gym, a playroom for children, and outside, a large heated swimming pool to enjoy all year round. For its protection and tranquility, the Ramos couple erected a large, high black wall all around their property. Car Gerard Piquet has four cars in his collection. The first car Piquet owns is Aston Martin DB8 that cost him around $215,000. The car has a powerful AM11 V12 engine with 540 horsepower. It can reach a top speed of 183 miles per hour. The second car is Mercedes AMG S63, which was purchased at $150,000. PK and Shakira often choose this car for a drive around town while they were together. The next car he owns is Tesla Model S, which was worth around $70,000. It is a state-of-the-art vehicle that is very popular today and not only because of its all-electric powertrain, but its sleek design, comfortable interior, and ample performance on the road. And the last to name here is the 2018 BMW XS, which is priced at $70,000. Like many other high-profile football stars, Sergio is also into exotic cars. The first car he owns is Mercedes-AMG G63, which was worth $170,000. This model is quite extraordinary because it is equipped with a 4.0 liter V8 bi-turbo engine that delivers 577 bhp. The second one in his garage is a Porsche 911 Carrera S, which was purchased at $145,000. This car has a gorgeous interior with high-end materials, comfy front seats, and an intuitive touchscreen infotainment system. Another Porsche he has is Porsche 977 Turbo S, which cost him around $150,000. Apart from lavish design, it's also offered with all the latest tech and safety features. And the last one is Audi R8 Spider, which he bought at $120,000. Private Jet PK and Shakira purchased their own private plane, a Learjet 60XR in 2010 for a reported $16 million. It is expected to have a personalized interior with a bedroom with two beds, a living room, and a dining room. According to reports, the couple rented out the plane when they weren't using it to save money on maintenance. If it comes to that, a judge may have to decide who gets to keep the jet, or whether it must be sold, and the proceeds divided between the two. Ramos and his wife also invested their money in Aircraft 2020 to sever his family traveling. He bought the Cessna Citation 560, which cost him $1.9 million. This private jet comes kitted out with leather seats, walnut tables, carpet, and a bathroom. Although his jet is smaller than PK or Ronaldo's ones, it has fewer restrictions over where it can land. It is even allowed to touch down on private farms rather than specific airstrips. Watch Collection Like CR7 and Messi, this pair are also big fans of watch. PK is often seen wearing high-end watches from famous brands such as Laurieto Skeleton, Audemars Spaghetti, Patek Philippe, and IWC. Those watches are worth from $15,000 to $60,000. The most expensive ones he owns is Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph, which he bought for nearly $60,000. Ramos's collection is a bit high-priced, around $250,000. He owns watches from Patek Philippe, Bulgari, and IWC, and the most expensive one in his collection is Patek Philippe's Men's Nautilus Chronograph, which cost him $75,000. So, to sum up, both Gerard Piquet and Sergio Ramos are belonging to the top highest paid players in the world and successfully built their own business empires. But in terms of the money they earn from football, we can see that Ramos is the winner in this battle. And that's all for the video today. Thanks for your watching. And be sure to support us with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
Goodbye and see you in the next video.